Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash Clans video. Today, we're going to be looking at the sneak peeks for the first and second day of this summer update season. Uh, and we're going to start with the first sneak peek uh, that was released on June 18th. In the background, I have a couple of Legend League attacks playing. If you want to see more Legend League attacks from me, I post them on my second channel, Raze Gaming 2, link in the description below. So first, Cannon and Wizard Tower levels uh, to upgrade to another level. So that's going to be against the Queen Charge a little bit and the Hybrid Attack. So they're trying to nerf, uh, indirectly nerf the Hybrid Attack as well as they can. And they're also going to add 50 additional level 14 walls. So that's going to help a lot of people who are already maxed out. And the one additional Spring Trap at Tunnel 13, which we already have so many Spring Traps. It's going to hurt a lot to have an extra one as well. So... Troops and Siege Machines, we have an extra level for Archer, Barbarian, Golem, ha, Love, Lawhound, Wallwrecker, Battleblimp, and Stone, Stone Slammer. So all the Siege Machines are going to be level 4 now. And the Lavahound, I think, is the most significant change there. Although the Baby Dragon is quite good for funneling. So having extra HP and damage there will help immensely as well. Spell, so Lightning Spell is sort of the most... Uh, or the most interesting change yet. So, a lightning spell is now going to cost one housing space, and it'll do a little bit less damage, but overall it'll be an improvement to the damage output per uh, housing space. So the most significant uh, changes to the lightning spell are two zap spells. Well, it's basically a zap spell from Clash Royale from what I've seen. So two zap spells take down the uh, sweeper, and three take down a air defense. So those are the most important changes to the zap spell. So it's a huge buff for air armies. So you don't have to worry about taking out a, or you don't have to worry about the sweeper direction in a Lalo attack. So that's the most interesting change here. Uh, you can basically exchange all your haste spells for lightning spells because um, with how powerful and how many and how many uh, loons you have. You can easily just overwhelm the base with free spells and uh, free spells, lightning spells, and loons. So we'll have to take a look at that uh, as the update rolls out. And I'm sort of excited to do some Sui Lalo or dragons or e drag pushing attacks. So let me know if you want to see those on the channel as well. So heroes up to level 75. That's no surprise whatsoever because having the just the is it just five levels from Town Hall 12 to Town Hall 13? We, we knew that was definitely going to improve. So level five, five levels for the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King. So that's a significant improvement. Uh, so we're going to have to see if that negates all the changes that made Queen Charges and uh, Hybrid harder. Namely the Cannon level and the Wizard Tower level and the extra Spring Trap. So let's move on to day two. And that will be quality of life and game, game balance changes. So this is the most exciting one for me, is the custom friendly challenge armies. And as well as in friendly champ, in friendly challenge and as well as in clan war, uh, friendly war that is, uh, the armies that you have are now based on a uh, custom training section, which doesn't cost time or resources. So you can change armies whenever you want. And there's no barrier at all to changing your army at all. Uh, it's just the amount of time that you have to uh, press the buttons on the screen, you know. So that's a huge improvement, and I really love that change. Uh, improved Town Hall upgrade experience. So you get the potion boost from the... Uh, you get the potion boost for some amount of time. It doesn't say on the uh, patch notes. But uh, as soon as you unlock the next town hall or maybe the next um the next like laboratory upgrade or the laboratory building upgrade uh i'm not sure when it kicks in but at some point the troops and uh heroes troops heroes and star bonus and resource collectors all get boosts eventually uh when you upgrade to a next the next town hall level so that's really really exciting Home village balances, so the golem uh, is reducing training costs, that doesn't matter whatsoever. 
reduced healing time for heroes is such an improvement. Great job there. Uh, because the heroes sometimes get out of sync with the actual troops building time. So that'll help a lot. And additional game changes. So the most important things are when saving... Uh, it's able to save the donation requests. This is a huge problem for me because uh, running a couple of counts in Legend League, sometimes you don't need to use the Siege Machine or you swag a spell or something. Then it just doesn't save in the actual interface when you're asking for custom troops. So that'll help quite a bit. The Grand Warden, this is the most important point. The Grand Warden is now able to more effectively follow the group. So this could completely negate all the changes that they're making with in regard to hybrid attacks. So we'll have to see about that because having a Grand Warden that actually follows stuff could actually completely negate all the changes they're making to hybrid. And apparently it's even better in air mode. So yet another buff to air attacks. So. And next thing is the second most important thing in this entire update. Removing the air mines. <laughs> removing the air mines ability to travel across the map and hit your healers. So now, instead of cr traveling across the map, it can only travel two times the radius of the actual black air mines. And I think it also means uh, red air mines as well. The actual radius of the black air mine, only double that is the entire total radius. So when you get that bug where the troop that troop that was the trigger of the trap dies before the uh, seeking air mine is able to hit it and then the seeking air mine moves in order to hit something from across the map it doesn't have actually have the ability to do that anymore so that is a great improvement then the scatter shot tiny little nerf it's able to run out of ammunition so that's an interesting thing and attack speed reduced by uh, three hundredths of a second, so that'd be great. Well, record uh, pathing has been improved. That's pretty good. We don't have very many reasons to use a wall record anyway, but it's good to have those bugs fixed as well. So yeah, that's about it for the first and second day of sneak peeks. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.